guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Daniela and I do all things beauty skincare and lifestyle if today's your first time seeing this space please make sure you subscribe join the notifications gang be a real MVP and then of course um, subscribe to join the community because you are going to learn a lot and today's topic I'm so excited because from the first clip that you saw you must have been like uh, okay but trust me you're going to learn a lot we are going to spray a lot of perfumes and a lot of fragrances and it's also an educational content that will help you to understand your scent style your signature scent because i feel like the best thing and the best compliments that you can get as a woman is for somebody you should just pass by and then they should catch they should catch the weave and be like ah oh, gosh what is that you smell so good and people want to just sit around you all the time i know for a certain that in uni i used to have a friend i hope she watches this video pamela basiduk she always smells like a million bucks she's married now and every time we're in class i always want to sit beside her because she, you can never catch her smelling bad it's just a good thing and it has to be aura and the vibe that your clothing your appearance your hair everything is just a confluence of something that is beautiful and that smells really really nice romantic and all the good stuff so today i'm going to be helping you to choose a signature scent now if you haven't heard of arab perfumes whether oils or scents or fragrance you've been sleeping on a long thing let me just tell you now come closer you've been sleeping on a long thing because arab perfumes are the best right now honestly i don't know the other styles or the other designer ones that are out there but they stand to be defeated undefeated in my opinion because gosh they last so long and i'm going to hooking you up on what arab perfumes that are not too expensive i'll review some of them for you describe their signature scents and also help you to understand where you are using some perfumes and you're just feeling like this is not my vibe categories of perfumes or fragrances that are out there in the world today they all fall, fall under four major categories now these four categories also have family members yes and that's why you're like okay i'm not really here but i'm here i'm confused i don't know why i can't find the perfume that just suits me trust me i've been there and when i decided to make this research and study everything about fragrances today was when i realized that mm, this is why this perfume is not just it for me the four categories include floral oriental woody and fresh scent floral oriental woody and fresh scents. so of all the categories of perfumes that are out there today everyone that you hear or that you smell usually have a combination of either all these four two of these four or a combination of either one that the manufacturer wants to infuse into the scent so um let's jump right into the first category which is the floral scent so if you're the kind of person that likes romantic flowery um perfumes and vibes and light airy scents that are not just too deep not too strong but you just want to always smell like rose lilies jasmine peonies and apples and fruits then you are a floral girl now you can be a, a an in-between you can fall under the category of both floral and every other category of scent but it is important for you to know the notes in the perfume that actually complements and makes you feel your best so if you're the kind of person that you enjoy a lot of floral scents so that means that when you first spray a perfume the top note which is the notes that last for maybe one to two minutes or five minutes is the one that will catch your attention if they are floral scents but if that first note that you smell is not a floral scent then trust me that's probably one of the reasons why you will not enjoy or like that perfume. floral scents also have four major family members under it so you're either a fruity floral girl that you like floral scents that has more of fruits infused into the perfume like mandarin apples peaches and all of that you are a fruity floral girl you and um the second category under floral scents is romantic floral scents so that means if you're somebody that just likes the smell of bouquet of roses lilies by the valley and all of all this is the way solomon describes it then you're a romantic floral girl but if you're the kind of girl that you want something that has a little bit of wood to your flowery scent then you are a woody floral girl and then lastly if you're the kind of person that you like to smell musk with your flowery perfumes then you're an oriental floral girl mind you 
this is still under just one category and that is the floral scent floral category of scents now the perfume that i've been enjoying so much under the floral category is the berries weekend pink collection berries weekend pink collection and it looks like this this is not the violet one i know berries weekend has both pink and both violet this is the pink collection and top notes include rose peach nectarine and iron scent so when you spray it the next thing that i want to talk about is about knowing the notes of your perfume so when you spray it like this the first thing that you smell if you are a true floral girl and if you enjoy perfumes that are floral in nature is the flowery scent that comes with this perfume this perfume retails for 8500 naira and it's a floral perfume so that means that if you want something that will last for hours upon hours upon hours it is not this floral or it is not this perfume it, a true floral girl knows that floral perfumes don't last longer now how do you understand the notes of your perfume and when you check online how do you know okay this is the notes that i like what does top notes mean all these notes that are just very very confusing so the top notes of your perfume when you see it on a label that looks like this for example the top notes of your perfume usually last for five to ten minutes so that means that when you spray your perfume like this that very strong smell that you're feeling or that you can smell usually lasts for five to ten minutes after that it has dissipated into the environment and it's possible that you will not be smelling anything any longer now the middle notes which are usually the next category that i'll talk about oriental scents usually last for 30 to 60 minutes on the average so that means that while you are still walking around people and stuff for the next one hour people can still be smelling mm, we like this fragrance now the last category which is what the base note or the last note in your perfume when you check the categories and when they describe scents is what the base note and they usually last for six hours and longer and this is where all my wood girls midnight wood latifa wood all sorts of wood this is where your own category falls under wood scents usually last for six six to eight hours or longer so that means that even when you bring out that top from your wardrobe that you were to work were to work last week and you still dust it like this before you put it in the laundry or your washing machine you can still smell your wood perfumes and that's why a lot of people like using wood perfumes because they last for a really long time which brings me to the next category of scent oriental scents are rich and sensual and warm at the same time so if you're the kind of person that you don't want something too strong like hood and like all those other things you would love oriental scents because this is where all your musk scents fall under oriental scents are usually musk so i'm talking about amber strong vanilla scents cedarwood all sorts of musky deep warm rich sensual scents this is what we call oriental scents so they are usually warm and sensual and they last longer but not as long as your woody fragrances okay so oriental scents can either be soft oriental scents woody oriental scents floral oriental scents so it depends on the one that actually gravitates towards you and the first category or the products that i would like to review under this category for my oriental scents girls and if you've been looking for a perfume that is under fifteen thousand, and you know that you are just a really musk you like to smell like musk then you will like this latafa opulent yes latafa opulent fragrance it has a woody strong musky scent and it lasts really long so for ten thousand naira it's a strong woody oriental fragrance and you will love it it's like a mixture of both wood and oriental scents so you are getting like musk and wood together in one fragrance honestly i have never tried it before you guys but i'm just reviewing it in case you guys are the kind of person that you like to try out oriental woody musky fragrance and stuff i'm a floral girl i know it's light and airy and it disappears into the atmosphere easily but honestly i will keep reapplying it because i just love the smell of flowers plus if you're a feminine feminine kind of woman you will love the smell of flowers because it just reflects nature but i'm diverting now this section or this segment is about oriental scents so if you're the kind of person that you like the smell of deep vanilla spices herbs and stuff 
and a um, mosque then you will like oriental scents the next category that i would like to talk about is woody fragrance woody fragrances and perfumes and scents and stuff that's the next category and like he says wood amber wood agar wood sandal wood cedar wood anything that has to do with wood that has been diffused into oil this is what you call woody scents and this is where you get your wood agar wood wood this is where you get your wood and that's because they last for six hours and longer so i usually encourage men to go for woody scents or a mixture of oriental woody scents because it has a rich sensual luscious appeal to it and let me describe it for you guys if you like to smell of sweat but not dirty sweat but clay muddy sweat that kind of warm earthy feeling mixed with a little bit of musky rich fragrance then you will love woods and woody fragrances and that's because those fragrances always last long you can wear your shirt two times and you only apply the fragrance once and guess what this fragrance will continue to smell and smell on that shirt that people at work will be like what do you use Ugh, i want to smell like you and the category that i have or the fragrance that i want to review under this category is this midnight oud yes i have a oud fragrance and that's because this is a fragrance that you just want to have in your collection in case you are going to uh, be out at night and you just want to smell of something rich sensual warm and earthy and stuff so um this fragrance is called midnight oud it's an arabian perfume there are two categories or two products that i want to review under this category so this is the first one and it smells really really rich mm. oh. honestly the thing about woods is that both their top notes and their middle notes and their uh base notes all have woods 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 in it so that means that you're just using a lot of fragrances that will last longer i mean like a mixture of notes of fragrances that will last longer all in one perfume now if you're not the kind of person that likes this one there is the letafa um wood mood that has amber woody warm spicy fragrance and stuff and it retails for ten thousand naira. this is a picture of it right here i have never tried it before this is the one that i've tried before this midnight wood right here and it's blue and stuff and ugh, it just makes me feel good the last category that i'd like to talk about today is fresh scents and this is for my girls that love clean girl aesthetic old money aesthetic you know that kind of vibe is not trying too hard if you're using a hood fragrance this is obvious <laughs> it's obvious you're obvious you're trying too hard if you're using a floral fragrance you're not trying too hard but if you use a, a the last category which is fresh scents if you're using a fresh scent you're not trying too hard because it's just clean it smells of aquatic vibes ocean green leaves lavender aromatic spices that are just light like rosemary sage and soft those are the fragrances or scents that are in what fresh scents think of ocean i go to the beach the feel of the sun and the sweat that comes from your skin when you're on vacation at the beach those are fresh scents and that's why it looks like sometimes it smells of peace it's not like it smells of peace it's not just your vibe and some people that is the only fragrance that they like to use so remember this um body fantasies that we used to use in secondary school fresh scents they are mostly fresh scents body fantasies are mostly fresh scents but in particular this fresh water one right here honestly i recently repurchased it because Every time I'm coming out from the bathroom, I always want to add to that fresh vibe that I'm getting from the bathroom and I just spray it all over my body after moisturizing just so I can feel very, very into it. Astab um, Musk Code fragrance that retails for 7,000 naira includes citrus, rose, sandalwood and what? White flowers. It's a fresh scent. But it also has a mixture of food. So if you're the kind of person that you want to smell like a clean girl but you also want your perfume to last longer then this perfume is going to be good for you perfume and skin chemistry and this is the icing on the cake everybody needs to know this because this might be the reason why it looks like you're not enjoying your fragrance or you're not feeling your perfume like it needs to be okay so um naturally you need to know what you smell like so when you roll out of bed in the morning just in the morning without all the sweat coming out and stuff 
what do you smell like do you smell like sweat earth clay and stuff if that's how you smell you feel like i smell of sand then you have a deep skin chemistry but if you smell like natural light airy vibe something that is just windy or flowy or you smell like air then you have a what light skin chemistry now the reason why i had to describe this for you is because there are some fragrances that don't mix together with certain body chemistries and that's why it looks like you're not just feeling the perfume okay so if you're the natural light airy vibe kind of girl then of course floral and oriental scents are going to be perfect on you and that's why it looks like every time you spray your oh i love this perfume because i'm a natural light airy girl every time you spray your natural oriental or floral perfumes you always feel so good because it sinks and it feels like your own natural body fragrance but if you're the kind of person that you naturally smell of clay of sweat a little bit of earth then you're what a woody a woody fragrance kind of girl if you are also natural and light and airy you can also enjoy fresh scents like i do i enjoy fresh scents but it's important for you to know your skin chemistry because this might just be the reason why you are not loving the perfume that you are using let me know in the comment section which perfume are you currently digging right now let me know i want you guys to tell me about the perfumes that you've used and the scents that just appeals to your senses if you are team flora girl get in the comment section and let us know each other because uh, we are one of a kind we don't smell too strong and stuff we just smell we smell light and airy like we're not trying so hard for the finesse to come out if you know what i'm saying but if you are the old girl since you're already trying too hard but let me know your thoughts also in the comment section thank you so much guys for watching please subscribe to my channel we are this close to 25k subscribers the goal is 50k by the end of this year we must get there <laughs> we must get there and i look forward to talking to you guys in the very next one bye guys